Pick up the rock and throw it in the lake. Sure I can do that. Welcome to our tutorial on setting up dynamic character interactions in Unity with Convey. We've covered the basics, and now it's time to dive into action configurations. With Convey, you can add AI to your virtual avatars in Unity, allowing them to perform really complex actions such as throwing a rock into a lake, or more simple actions like dancing. These AI characters can also talk to you and other AI characters, and perceive their virtual surroundings. In this tutorial, we'll start by setting up actions and global settings. Then we'll add custom actions and finally advanced actions. Let's start with a simple scene for learning how to incorporate actions into your NPC in Unity. Here we'll be using a Reillusion character, but actions work with any avatar system. This tutorial assumes that you've already set up your first convey character in Unity. If you haven't, please refer to the links in the description for that tutorial. Let's get started. First we'll configure our actions. Select the convey NPC character from the hierarchy and locate the Convey NPC script. There you'll find the Add Components button. Click it and use the checkbox to add the action script to your NPC. Remember to apply the changes to attach the Convey Actions Handler script. So now you can see that the Convey Actions Handler script has been attached. Convey offers a range of predefined actions to jumpstart your character's interactions. Click the plus button to add a single action element. From the dropdown, let's choose move to for now. Enter the action name. While it doesn't need to match the action choice name, clarity is key, so we'll stick with move to. For now, we'll leave the animation name field empty and revisit it later. Repeat these steps to add more actions, such as pick up and drop. Next, we add an object to our character to interact with. In this case, it will be a crystal. So let's select a crystal from the assets in the convey folder, drag it into our scene, and position it just right. To help our NPC understand its environment and interactive objects, we need the convey interactables data script. Create an empty game object. Name it flexibly, like convey interactables and attach the convey interactable data script to this object. Add characters and objects by expanding the respective lists and click the plus icon. For our NPC named Sophia, we'll add a bio, which is optional, then drag the character game object into the field. Do the same for the player's character. In the very same way, we can also add objects. We click on the plus icon, expand, and in this case, we are adding the crystal. So let's just name it crystal, and we can drag and drop the crystal game object inside this field. With everything in place, let's test our setup. Hit play and ask the NPC to bring the crystal. Yes, I can bring you the crystal. Watch as the NPC responds and performs the action. Now let's explore the creation of custom actions. We'll start with a simple action that requires only an animation, like dancing, a great way to add personality to your characters. Find the dance animation in our plugin and incorporate it into the NPC's actions. Open the animator controller. Go back to our dance animation and drag the dance animation in, and it will create a node with a name, and we'll rename it dancing. Back in the action handler script, Add a new action called Dancing, and set the enum to None. Let's see it in action. Ask the NPC to dance and enjoy the performance. Yes, I can dance for you. Moving on to more advanced custom actions, we'll add a throw action. This requires an animation, which we'll find and add to the animation controller.
creating a new node named Thrilling. In the Action Handler script, we'll follow a three-step process. First, add the throw enum. Then, in the do action function, add a switch case for the throw action. Finally, implement the throw function by copying and pasting the pre-written code. Back in Unity, add the throw action to the action handler script, leaving the animation name field empty. Now add the object to be thrown, a rock. Drag it into the scene and include it in the convey interactables data script. We've set up everything in a different environment, and now let's test it. Pick up the rock and throw it in the lake. Sure I can do that. Watch as the NPC executes the new action flawlessly. And that's how you can add complex actions to your Convey NPC in Unity. You're now ready to create engaging and interactive character actions. If this tutorial was helpful, please like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more Unity tutorials. Thanks for watching and happy game development. As always, come by our Discord for any questions or write to us at support at convey.com.